Link, Link, save me. Yeah, yeah. Hey, Link. I wasn't playing with the merchandise. Oh, Zelda, it's just you. I was thinking, since this one is called Link's Awakening, do you think maybe I could rescue you? Yeah, but this is a remake of like a classic Game Boy game. You're not even in this one. Exactly. What better time to uh, switch it up? Okay, here we go with this again. Zelda, Zelda, we, we can't shoehorn you into a 20 year old classic. Look, Breath of the Wild 2 is coming out. It looks like you're getting a much bigger role in that one. We added you to Smash. You got to be a pirate in Wind Waker. I'll have a word with Nintendo. We'll see if maybe we could get you a spin-off or a DLC or something. Oh, come on. You always say that. I've been waiting for like 30 years. You rescue me? I'm Link. Hero of Twilight. Hero of Time. Chosen by the Triforce of Courage. Wielder of the Master Sword. I mean, you're, you're just a princess. Unbelievable. Always the damsel, huh? You know, you're not the only one with a Triforce. What good is courage? Wisdom is where it's at. You know, it's hard to come by these days. Look at you, you got your stabby wee stick. I have magic. Do you have magic? Mm, no, I don't think so. Do you know what? Forget it. Same old Link. Well, excuse me, princess. So I just want to make something abundantly clear. I did try to get a full Link cosplay. Unfortunately, I'm a bit too round and Link's a skinny dude. Hey guys, and welcome to another mini unboxing. And today I'm doing The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening Remastered Limited Edition. Now this version in my hands is exclusive to Australia and Europe. Sorry, North America, you guys do get something called the Dreamers Edition, which has an art book and the game. Now, as a remake of a beloved Game Boy classic, this pays homage to that, and I'm gonna show you in just a second. Okay, let's open up the box here. Very nice. Oh, straight away, got a steel book, got the game, a little pulley tab here. All right, guys, here's the steel book. The first item we're gonna be taking a look at Oh, wow, look at that. That's texture. It looks like you can open it up, put the batteries in. Games in the back there. Screw holes. Cheeky look at the inside. Oh, the original the original gameplay screens for the Game Boy. And uh, yeah, the buttons as well are raised. Pretty cool. So next item we have is the game itself. We'll use the little bullet tab, get it out. Take a look at the casing. Now I normally don't open these. People always say don't show the back, but there's an amiibo you can get with the game as well. Next underneath this second layer is the art book, right? Let's take it out, have a look. Okay, okay, this thing's surprisingly heavy. It is a hardback art book. It's different from the Dreamer edition. Yeah, very nice. Let's take a look inside in just a sec. All right, I'm going to open this up for you guys. I won't try to show too much. Though, can you really spoil a 20-year-old game? There is some of the original art, I believe. That's the island. Link drifting towards it. Random cello. There is Link with the redesign in the new art style. There's the old one. There's the new one. See, the Hellenian shield has been redesigned as well. From the houses and the island itself. Marin's been changed. Oh, some of the interiors here. Is that a comparison? Some more levels, some more characters. I'll try not to give away too much. God, quadruplets. Some of the enemies. Yeah, there you go. Pretty good. Just wanted to quickly show the inside of the box. You get the Windfish. Right, in the limited edition of Link's Awakening, you get the limited edition art book, a replica Game Boy Steel book, and the game, of course. That was the regional exclusive Link's Awakening Collector's Edition. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. My final thoughts are this is an absolutely brilliant little mid tier collection, especially if you're a huge Zelda fan. You get quite a large and extensive art book. But most importantly, you get this amazing steelbook. This is by far my favorite part. 
The level of detail in recreating the Game Boy, even with the cartridge in, is heckin' cool, as my guest star would say. And as far as steelbooks go, this is probably one of the best ones. Guys, please do me the favor of giving this video a like, especially as we had a really great guest star today. You may know her as Don't Rage Quit over on Twitch, or as one of the presenters over on What Culture Gaming. And in fact, she just did a review over on their website. Guys, all her links will be in the description down below. Please go check her out. She's an amazing streamer and an amazing presenter. And if you do end up in her Twitch chat or wander over to What Culture, let her know Nando said hi. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next video. I broke my wee pointy stabby stick.